What's up, guys? That video I made yesterday, package, finally came. Uh, very excited about this. This is from Binder and Recordings. Uh, Marty here on YouTube. Marty Worm, I'm sure you know who he is. Uh, yeah, got it from Binder. Um, opening it as we speak because he packaged this extremely well. Um, for some reason, I almost didn't bring a knife, which would have been a very poor decision on my part. But, uh, yeah. Opening in progress. Very nice. Open. Oof. Looks very cool so far. Very nice. Quality. This is packaged ridiculously well. Wow, Marty, you... You got it going here. Okay, so... Being that said, that I picked up a binder room package it's tight. Uh, you could probably assume what I picked up so I bought the Panopticon box thing here's the shirt very glad to have this wow is this cool looking which side are you on on the back and on the Panopticon side this is a really cool shirt a pretty big large too probably just gonna be really comfy really hyped on this shirt this is killer um, LP don't know which vinyl color variant I purchased I don't know what variants there were Wow is that a thick thick vinyl oh there's two that's why <laughs> I'm an idiot okay here is side one. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's unbelievable. Wow. Very nice LP. This looks really, really good. This is side uh, C and D. Wow. Oh. Uh, currently, I'm speechless. <laughs> this is awesome. And. Here's the other LP, side A and B. Wow. Unreal. Damn. Look at this one. I can't get over that. Mm. Great job, Marty. Um, not going to lie to you guys, I've actually never heard this Panopticon release. Um... I've always, I listen to the hell out of Roads to the North, I know Autumn Eternal pretty well, I know Collapse pretty well, uh, Social Disservices I know a little bit of, that other album I don't remember the name of, I don't really know at all, and I've actually never listened to Kentucky. I have no clue why, here's the LP by the way, uh, I have no idea why I haven't listened to it. But uh, once I heard this reissue was happening, I bought it up immediately. And I have no regrets. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gatefold. I like the little outline of uh, Kentucky in there. This is a really cool idea. Oh. Very nice. White inner, white inner. And then I got the little sheet, lyric sheet. I've actually seen a couple of people show this LP on their channel, and I have uh, consciously avoided watching them, so I can see it for myself in person. These are all really gorgeous pictures. Uh, I've been to Kentucky multiple times, and uh, where we were is very gorgeous. Very, very happy to have this in my collection. LPs are gorgeous. Can't get over it. Let me take you a quick walk through the rest of the stuff that I purchased. Because I didn't just buy the Panopticon stuff. I purchased other things as well. Let me insert said records into said sleeves. Actually, I'm going to do I'm gonna do it Desi Wood style where I don't put the records in there. Uh, so it came with this koozie. Beer, bluegrass, black metal. It's awesome. Love that. I'm super happy to have this patch. I thought it was coming in gold, but it came in white. Really glad to have this. 
Uh, you guys know I made that black metal jacket. This is definitely going on there. I'm very happy to have this Law of Panopticons logo. This logo is really cool. And I also, this didn't come with the package, but I bought the Digipack as well. Because honestly, I didn't own any Panopticon CDs. I had Collapse, but I traded it to a friend because he is a die-hard Panopticon fan. And I felt like I gotta hook up a buddy every once in a while, you know? I traded it to him. I got some cool stuff out of it, too. You know, I, I gave it to him, I would say, rather cheaply. We got we made a good deal. And what's cool about this is it's just like a mini version of the LP. Comes with a little booklet and stuff. Everything that's in the on the lyric sheets on here, same pictures, just a little different layout. I wonder what the CD art looks like though. Oh, that's really cool. There's Austin. Really cool belt thing. Oh, we're watching Mr. Pickles, by the way. It was Squidbillies, but now it's Mr. Pickles. Wow, is this cool. Gorgeous sleeve. Um, yeah, really happy to have this. Um, I guess this is my only Panopticon CD. Uh, I gotta buy all their other stuff though. I almost bought it at my record shop recently, but it was like 19 bucks for some reason for that new reissue thing that they did. So uh, yeah, that's it for Panopticon stuff. And the other thing that I picked up was this LP. It was a complete blind buy by a band, uh, Kruthu. Uh, they're apparently a doom metal band. Kruthu. Um, the Angle of Eternity. Uh, this is a 2017 release. Uh, obviously out in Binder. Uh, cool lyric sheet. Actually, really cool lyric sheet. I like this look. It's got that really depressive look. Kind of like a depressive take on the uh, album cover. And this kind of like really cool looking lyric sheet with like Callanan Brood esque thing going around it, which is probably not the influence for it. But yeah, this is really cool, actually. The two versions. This is really tight. Uh, I have actually never listened to this. I have no clue what it sounds like. I just saw that it said Doom Metal, and it was 15 bucks for the LP. Uh, black sleeve. I don't know what color the vinyl is. Just black. That's cool with me. Very cool. Black LP. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't tell you anything about this release, but I know it's probably pretty killer because I don't think uh, Marty puts anything not good out. Like, I don't think he's capable of that. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, that's my binder and unboxing. That's everything that I picked up. Uh, very glad to have it. Super happy. I'm going to listen to the shit out of it. I've been listening to quite a bit of bluegrass recently, and I feel like that just worked out well with uh, this coming in today. So, yeah, go support Binder. Pick this bundle up. I don't know if you still can, but if you can, do it. Because it's extremely worth it. Because this is a high quality release. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Pineapple. So, uh, yeah, Marty's the man. Keep it greasy, guys.